smashers. You know why she's laughing? Because I hit the record button and it didn't start working. So that right there is the most savage athlete ever. It, it, she's going to introduce, it's Jess, but she's going to tell you all about her. She's a badass. Just that's it. She did a, when was the comp you did? Yeah, Contra Costa, and she crushed it. I mean, crushed it. We did a good workout this morning. It was called Hall, super fun. But it had some squat cleans in it, so everybody's hips are really jacked. So we're gonna do basic hip opener. She's gonna be doing it with me. Why? Because she's super flexible and wicked strong. So the problem with the hips is, I'm gonna use just an example. She's gonna stand right here. So if you look, right here, so this is the high portion of the hip. So TFL, glute knee, glute man, all runs into this IT band, and the problem is, that IT band hits the lateral side of the knee. So when you get someone like her and she drops into the bottom of the squat, she's gonna wanna crank out and externally rotate the hip, but it doesn't happen when this gets super short and tight. So I'm gonna show you a couple of drills to open that up, clear out the hip and get ready for doing all kinds of super fun stuff and making your hips last um, really long. So first thing you're gonna do is we're gonna do what's called a three position hip opener. So yeah, you got it. So we're gonna wrap the band around. It's like I got a new, she's like my new right hand. Man, look at this. This is legit, she's just hooking it up. She's hired. So she's gonna step in with one leg. I would use your most mobile leg and you're gonna face that way. You got it. You notice how I said most mobile leg? <laughs> and she's gonna take a Spider-Man position with this as her lead leg. This, you're gonna put this right up at the grind, step forward, now drop down. This all the way down, this all the way back. There you go. Just like you're doing a Spider-Man. Bring this leg out a little forward. There you go. So if you look at the position, now she's gonna turn her entire body towards me a little bit. So the band loads, pull body, leg and everything. You're gonna twist the whole thing. Yep. So I want the band pulling about like that. So you can see, this is the important part. The band is pulling at about 45 degrees. Now what she's gonna do is she's gonna take this elbow, she's gonna drop it down into the center. So that is position one. She's gonna hang out there for how long? Two minutes. Yeah, that's two minutes. That's number one. Okay, number two is she's gonna base out with this. So she's gonna make a post with her hand flat. She's gonna take this hand and she's gonna crank it all the way up in the sky. That is position two. I'm trying not to have the shakes. We did lots of work out. There's lots of, she knows, she's laughing. That's position two. Position three is she's gonna put her hand on her knee and she's gonna push the knee away while trying to turn her torso the other direction. That is position three with my shiny dome in the background showing you. So there we go. That is the three position hip opener. That's number one. Number two is she's gonna lay on her back. We're gonna do a rotated figure four. And she's like, oh God, this one sucks. I know. It's true. So we're gonna bring the band up. So you basically can stay in the band and the band goes, if you see, on the leg. And what I noticed is when we were going over this with, uh, with someone else here this morning is that she said she does this all the time. You know why? Because it hurts. Is it effective? Yes. Yeah, see? Wicked effective. So she's going to take this position. I'm going to have her turn her palms this way, palms down, and she's just going to roll. So the band is going to be opening up the hip, and she's trying not to. She's like, this hurts so bad. I know what she's doing right now. She's like, this sucks. But it's opening up the hip. It's going to hit that hip capsule in the center, and it's going to hit the TFL and IT band unload right through here. It's going to take a lot of pressure off the knee. So if you have knee issues, this is a great thing to do too. All right, that is number two. How long do we stay in the position? See that? She's throwing out the peace sign. It's a gang symbol. It's a Smashworks gang symbol. All right, that's number two. Number three is we're gonna do it's a little retraining, except somebody stole my band, so she's gonna come out of this. Now, the thing with Jess is she's tall, so we're gonna put her on a really tiny box anyway, so she's gonna sit on this box right here. I am pointing at a box. You're gonna sit, face me. Perfect. She's gonna take, this is a tripled band. It's not three bands that are really small. It is a tripled band. She's gonna put her feet in either band. Both, this one too. And then she's gonna bring the band all the way up just to just above the knee. This is the important part. So we're just above the knee. She's gonna go feet forward. She's gonna go a little wider with the feet than she is at her knees. That's the important part too. I gotta brace my shoulder because it's about ready to break from holding this thing. And then all she's gonna do is push her knees out as hard as she can. Oh, that's miserable, isn't it? See? See her face? I'll block it. It's a pain face. It's like, don't see, don't see. She's going to hold for one second and then come back in. Push out. One, 1,000. Come back. Three sets of 10. Call it a day. I guarantee you where she's got her hands is where she's feeling it. I'll bet you $1,000 that's where she's feeling it. Hey, listen, you want to fix your hips, get them moving right, unlock them, hang out with Jess. She'll crush you in a workout. I'm Trev, Smashworks, hanging out at Delta. I will check you guys out tomorrow.